Hi, on my is Qt a threat to Kitty go check it out video, I actually made a very snarky uh, and quick comment about Phoronix saying that I usually try to avoid Phoronix. So let me actually explain why. And it comes from two reasons. One is actually Phoronix's fault. Another reason is not due to Phoronix, but it still leads me to avoiding it. And I think it could be, uh, there could be some effort from Phoronix to fix it. So. First one, very simple. In the past, they did some mistakes when actually reporting some of the KDE news and some of those mistakes were significant, I think. As an example, one time when the KWIN um, maintainer stepped, stepped down, they also reported that another developer stepped down uh, and he hadn't, and he was actually pretty annoyed to uh, be cited in this article. So that was a pretty big mistake because it was a very important moment for KDE. The KWIN maintainer was uh, stepping down and making such a mistake was uh, also, usually they take blog posts from KDE developers and almost copy paste them, ch changing few words or summarizing them and then posting an article. And then that article immediately gets posted to uh, KDE social networks, social networks such as Reddit. So it feels a bit like they're trying to make the news as soon as possible, even out of the KDE on blogs, uh, KD developers on blogs. So that's not very nice. These aren't super important and I guess we could live uh, without them, but they also have the second reason, which is they do have a comment section and in theory it should be moderated, I think. It really isn't and it's full of insults and completely wrong stuff about KD. And every time I go to a Phoenix article and I see the comments, uh, I die a bit inside. Uh, when he talks about KD. I actually want to make you a few examples because uh, this is just me talking. So I collected some of the comments from Phronix. Uh, and then as, as an example, this one was after the release of Plasma 5.25 and it just says the new effect sucks. I want the old behavior. And I can understand that the new effect had some bugs when it was first released, but there was a reason, first of all, but okay, I can understand users being annoyed, but that's just not how you frame it, okay. There's also, after releasing a new KDE uh, Plasma and I still cannot use OBS or screen capture on Wayland, NVIDIA, uh, that's false, by the way, I'm using OBS and I'm screen recording, so, but that wasn't even the point of the article. And then there is stuff like, why does it seem like KDE is always following Microsoft design trends? We aren't. Like even everything we do, we did that way before Microsoft. Did. We had a bottom bar light um, theme with a menu and rounded corners. Microsoft was a black bar by default with uh, square corners, very different. Is it just because we have a bottom bar? Is that the panel the only thing in common at this point? I don't know. We are clearly not following uh, Microsoft design trends. I don't know about that. Then there's also this post which complains about the fact that every time a new KD Plasma release is released, uh, it says that includes better will and support and asks, is it gonna happen for the next version of KD Plasma 2? I hope so. I mean, <laughs> what is the point of that? Of course, at every release of KD Plasma, we try to make uh, Wayland uh, as better as an experience compared to the previous version. We try to improve it every time and it's slowly getting there. Um, even one year ago, I couldn't use Wayland on my main computer. I just couldn't. Now I'm doing it without any issue whatsoever. So it is improving a lot. And I don't see why you would complain about the fact that it's improving throughout many, many versions. Did you expect that it would only took like one version? I don't know. Then there is off-brand GNOME from the discounter shop. This is actually for the effect uh, that we have, which is this one. Let me actually show it to you, this one. And um, well, uh, people thought it was copied by GNOME and it isn't, it was, I already talked about this, it, it wasn't. So off-brand GNOME really hurts inside, of course it doesn't hurt, but a bit. 
why imitate GNOME UI disasters? And we are not imitating GNOME in the first place, but also it was very much not a UI, UI disaster. I think that uh, the feedback that we got that uh, uh, effect like this was needed, this one, uh, sorry, this one was very strong and uh, people really, really liked it in general. So I don't see what's the point here. Then there's insults. Without any arguments, I cannot even reply to that. This effect is at least I hope this one doesn't take five seconds to open. And I can guarantee you that all effects that KDE had back then were like super performant. They were all C++ stuff. You could argue that the new effect is light, slightly slower because it's part uh, QML and that's for a reason. It makes it so much easier to actually work with and it's not particularly slow either, but the one back then were even faster. So wh what is he referring to? I don't understand. And then the just, the first thing I would turn off immediately. And I see a lot of these comments even on Reddit whenever a new version arises. And I always ask myself, why did it, why did you want to let the world know this? Like, uh, why would he assume that somebody would be interested in his personal preference about KD Plasma? It's fair to turn off KWIN effects, but uh, a new version has just released and that's your only comment. And yes, this is a video where I'm just snarky and angry. That, that's the whole video, so let's keep it away if you. Then there is this one, it's almost over though. This is actually uh, what I was referring to. It is, uh, the news also comes just days after Aik can also step down as a KDE maintainer. And this is the account of Aik that says, uh, no, I didn't, what's up with that? Luckily they did quickly fix it they better do that. And uh, this is uh, from the post uh, from the Kwin maintainer stepping down and it's all like, oh, the VDG is completely destroying everything. And they lose due to removing functionality and making KD GNOME 4.0. What? <laughs> That's such a trip. I fail to see what a window manager has to do with design. Okay. One could honestly not see the link, but a window manager has a lot to do with the design of the operating system, like the desktop that uh, uses it. As an example, if you want rounded corners, you need to deal with the window manager. You cannot do it by the application themselves for um, in a consistent way. If you want to cut off the corners of the windows, you need to do it via the window manager. Or another example, which is actually probably one of the reasons why the maintainer stepped down is that there was a lot of discussion on whether windows had to have, bor had to have the borders drawn by the uh, window manager around them or not. Back then they had them, now they haven't. And uh, luckily they were removed because uh, this actually allowed design to do a lot much more with the space, but it has to do a lot with design. Also, this one is annoyed that uh, we talk about white privilege in KDE, just the fact that white privilege was mentioned, that that's enough. And then there is this one who claims that uh, we remove, it's the same guy from before, we removed features from KDE. And when actually asked, okay, but what did we remove exactly? He, I'm not kidding, literally said, I leave the exercise to the reader. He didn't even answer the question. <sighs> what else? This is the last one and then I'm none but it's just a selection to make you understand why I don't go through Phoenix. To uh, replying to the other guy, he just said, so right, stop this 2D sweeping shit we had ages of UI research using these bold random words. <laughs> it's just so absurd. Stuff like this. Okay, so this is a selection of comments and now you understand why whenever I go to Phoenix, I, I at least don't check out the comments at the very least. And uh, luckily recently uh, the Phoenix uh, articles themselves in general has been uh, well done. Even there was the thing, the fake new, I don't know, that uh, KD was ad uh, adding advertisement, which was false, false. And Phoenix did report on that, but it did in a 
correct way, so that was very nice. So lately it's better, but nonetheless, uh, if you see a KD developer angry with Phoenix, uh, that's not very unusual, let's say that.